Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, today I've got the Lenovo Smart Tab M8 here. Uh, there were a few things I forgot to mention, and some of you have asked these questions, so I want to get them answered today as much as I can. Um, first and foremost, that this is a fully laminated display, it seems like, so that's why this screen looks a little better compared to other um, tablets around this price range and up to around 100 or so. So that is nice to see. Um, laminated basically means like between the screen and the depth of the touch, like you don't really notice that gap in between. Um, I probably didn't explain it the best, but if you look up laminated, you'll know what I'm talking about. People have also been asking if this has a GPS module, you know, for navigation. And the way I'm able to determine that it, I believe that it does have a GPS module is by going into Google Maps and like typing up a place and it shows that I can navigate there. And not just showing you directions, but like it shows me where I'm at. So I'm going to say that it does have a GPS module because of that. I'm not going to show that right now because otherwise it'll show where I live and I'll pretty much show my location where I'm at. The next thing people have asked is if this works on Zoom or if Zoom works on this. And a simple answer is that yes, Zoom does work on this. Uh, I don't see much, too much of a problem. Now granted, this the um, camera is not that great like I mentioned before. Uh, if you're in like broad daylight or like really strong lighting inside, then I think it should work fine. I mean, you can see it here. Uh, I have my phone right here that I'll get just one sec. And then you can see that I've got it here. So I'm just moving it around a little bit and no problems whatsoever. The microphone is not bad on this. Uh, I have no complaints with it. The one you're hearing here is the microphone from the Lenovo tab. And there's gonna be an echo because it's like really close by here. So that's why. Uh, and if I wanna switch it, now I don't know the best way to show you this to be honest with you, but I hope this gives you a feel that, you know, this does work in fact. And this is how it looks here. Let me turn off the, the microphone on both. And this is how it looks on the tablet, you know, when um, you're looking at mirror when you're using this. So obviously the camera quality is not great, like we said before, but I guess it would be tolerable. So, I mean, you can determine that for yourself. The other question I get, got asked quite a bit more was if RuneScape works. Now, old school RuneScape works, the new one, not so, not so well. So old school RuneScape has low end graphics. You know, it's not that high um, demanding in graphics compared to the new RuneScape, so that's why it should be pretty easy to um, use on this tablet. And I'll just show you a little bit of gameplay just so you know what I'm talking about. Maybe it's not completely smooth in frame rate, but to me this is definitely playable. I don't notice any problems. And unfortunately I uh, can't find a place to fight, but again with fighting I don't think it would be too graphic demanding with old school RuneScape, so that really shouldn't be a problem. Now this here is RuneScape 3, and from this, you can tell that it's really slow. Just looking around, there's so many frame rate drops and just lags. It's bad, not good. And here is what I set the graphics to. Um, let's see where you go. Let's try ribbon, graphics. And I think I have the graphics set to low. Here, let's see advanced options. And this is what I have everything set, set as. Um, I changed it to 15, 15 frames per second. I can change it back to 30. It's still going to be pretty slow. Uh, I guess we can turn off shadows. That might help a little bit. But really, I mean, I think I have pretty much everything turned off here. So there's not much else you can change. So I would say that this really isn't playable. Unless if maybe you overclock this or root, your, root this tablet and maybe try to overclock it and see if you can get it to work a little faster. Yeah, this is 30 frames, and it looks a little better with 30 frames, but still really slow. Um, yeah, just walking around, it's just going to not be playable. Yeah, it's not playable overall for me, I would say. Or for anyone. Just awful, and that's unfortunate. Lastly, I wanted to mention that I said that this was running Android 9, and this might not get any updates. I want to thank Sherry Blaze for pointing this out. So, based on the listing, it looks like the... Tab M8 and the Smart Tab M8 are going to get the upgrade to Android 10. And going to this link, you can scroll down and you can see all the way down to uh, Tab M8. And if you want to see which specific version you have, you can just check behind your tablet. Uh, let me just zoom in there. And 
yeah, you can read it here. So Lenovo, the model number is back here, Lenovo TB8505FS. Most of you should probably have the same one as me if you got this on Black Friday at Walmart. And 8505FS is right around here. And it says here it's going to get Android 10, Android Q on November 20th, and it's ongoing. So it should happen pretty soon. And when that does happen, or maybe a little bit after, I might do another update video to you know see how well this is held up in general. So if you want to get notified for that, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. And do leave a like if you found this uh, video helpful. As always, thanks for watching.